So let's go ahead and sign in. And theoretically, we should be able to sign in as any of the other users that we created. Um, the first user that I had created with the default template, of course, as, as we said now a few times, actually um, sets your username to the email. So this should still work. And it does, so we'll sign out. And then the users that we created actually had usernames. So like test user two. And so that works as well. So I'm glad we were able to work out that bug. I'm sorry that it took a, a little while. Um, it was kind of interesting to see that it was actually kind of a, a minor bug in the template. Um, which made it a little bit more confusing than perhaps it needed to be. So now we're past due for a commit, definitely. Um, and yeah, I've done too much here um, in between commits. But what we've done is we created our data seeder uh, profile view and more or less fix a login bug. So now we can log in and log out of our application. So let's go ahead and try to create a post. So if we go to forums and let's just post in say like the JavaScript forum for instance. Okay, so we get our, our message saying that there are no posts, why not post something? And it looks like we could make this form look a little bit nicer too. So we'll do that towards the end of the series. And we could say something like functional programming in JavaScript. And so we'll try to submit a post. Okay, so yeah, we can see that our post comes through. We have our username here rather than the email. And I don't have a user image. So let's go ahead and wire up some functionality so that we can have users upload profile images and have those images stored in Azure Blob Storage, so in the cloud. So if we click on test user right now, um, we get taken to, actually it's saying post details. So this needs to be fixed and this should be profile detail. Um, but here we should still get an error because we haven't actually registered our service, our user service. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix those two issues. So I'm gonna close some windows here. And then we'll fix the first issue with post, the link there. We can go to views and then post and then index. And yeah, here's our, here's our typo here. Um, so I had an extra ASP there. So yeah, it should be ASP controller profile detail. And then the profile controller, you can see that we're using a few different services here, an upload service and a user service, this sort of thing. They're going to be our concrete implementations of these interfaces. And so we need to go ahead and register those using a dependency injection here in our startup class. So I'm gonna come down into startup and then I'm gonna scroll down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoped I upload for the upload service and then the other service will be our I application user service here. So we'll come back and control period here. Oh, it's not finding upload service. So if we head down into our service layer, we need to go ahead and make this public even though we haven't um, implemented anything in this method, in this class yet. Um, so now we should be able to find it. And we'll need to make sure that upload service itself implements iUpload. Okay, and then um, our interface is also currently empty, um, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and clean this up just so that we can actually register the dependency injection in our startup class. So that's looking good. Likewise, we'll services.add scoped. My application user and our application user service, which we also need to head into and make public. And as you can see, it implements my application user. So that's good. So we'll head back into startup and that should be working properly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make commits for that as well.
All right. So now let's head over back into our profile controller. And so we had created an action result for a detail view. So if we head down into our views, we had created that as well under profile and then detail. So this should more or less be wired up. Note that we have this if statement here where we say if the um, you know the uh, profile model um, has the is admin boolean set to true, then we add this admin class just below the username. So in our profile controller, this is where we have this user roles contains admin and where our user manager is calling once again this get roles async and passing the user object in there and then returning the actual result from this asynchronous method. So now this admin role um, actually exists in our database. Um, so it's actually going to go to ASP.NET roles, or it's actually going to go to user roles, and it's going to find um, on this sort of sort of join table, if you will, where we have this user ID on the left and the role ID on the right. Um, and in fact, we can demonstrate this with just some raw SQL here. I'll just call this, we'll, we'll just alias this as you are. And we'll also interjoin ASP.NET users. And instead of selecting star now, we can just select users.username, users.email, roles.name. from our uh, user roles join table and then join the roles and users on it and just hit F5. And so now we can see that this forum admin is actually in the role of admin. And so this should return true and our view should actually show that admin label for this particular user on their profile. So let's go ahead and start the server up and see if we can verify all that.